All right, what's up my brother? So in this video, we got a sponsor request and the topic of this one is basically how can a woman with such great qualities have so many red flags? All right, let's get right into this. He says he is in a two and a half year relationship, both hold a finance degree, deep feelings for another age 28. He's making decent money. So here we go, positives, sweet, feminine, loves to be around me, genuine burning desire, kind, supportive, has helped with work well presentable to his family good manners seen as a feminine young lady sweet face don't like her body much though interesting negative unhappy and threatened and or attempted to self-delete i'm going to use that word started after one year because she felt relationship wasn't going fast enough that's interesting why would she self-delete after one year because it wasn't going fast enough she cried when i left after meetings was unhappy during text and she threatened to self-delete a few times one time if i didn't meet her at her her place so imagine you're with a chick and she says if you don't come to my place I'm gonna self delete told me she was brought up into a clinic once for an attempt I found antidepressants so SSRIs in her bag next red flag she has daddy issues her dad wasn't in her life she met him once during our relationship but she chose no further contact her mom is was mentally ill in a clinic late childhood early youth ex-girlfriend her period with my ex-girlfriend desc described as hell Never met her mom, but in pictures, she's 100% has crazy eyes. We've all seen crazy eyes before. My editor will put something up with crazy eyes now, I'm sure. At that time, she was with grandparents. Her granddad was probably not a good role model, as she told as she told a case of her grandma telling him how to behave. Interesting. Fear of abandonment. She told me that her life has no purpose without a relationship. She has negative self-image. Next one, hissy fits. Wow, she's got a lot of red flags. She threw one herself down like a toddler, punching the ground and crying. Crying in front of me was frequent, but does it qualify as inward violence due to lack of emotional control? Next red flag, drama. She wanted me to text her after waking up. I refuse. I don't want my day to start unproductively. During a six-week period when I was too busy for meetups, she treated, she created drama fueled by fear of abandonment. More negative traits. Feminist. Uh, her demeanor was recently, but still brought feminist ideas. She knew the difference between promiscuous men and women, but still said it's okay for women to sleep around. She also said... She wouldn't fully rely on a man for provision, giving a bit of an independent woman vibe. She's given an independent woman vibe, but she but she needs to be in a relationship. Are you starting to see the like a lot of the complexities that arise out of women with red flags, especially these conflicting notions? Notch count, estimation 10. She told me about a small phase before me, given her demeanor. I think it's not typical, a three or four type phase into double, higher double digits, but is 10 acceptable? Nowadays, probably low end conservative times may be in the disgusting range all right well we don't know how old this gal is but i'm assuming because he mentioned something about her being younger he's 28 that she's in that range all right so let's get a move on shall we all right so how can a sweet gal have so many red flags is our friend's question and uh, look we're not going to diagnose her in this video but there is a contingent of the female population that has a higher probability of having borderline personality disorder and that's often very closely correlated with daddy issues not having a good strong masculine male role model growing up which there was an absence of also threatening to self-delete if you don't come over to my place immediately or in the next you know proximity of, of time to me is a massive massive red flag that is manipulation and control she can't control her own inner world her own thinking her own thoughts the way that she perceives the world so the only thing that she can do at that point is try to control things around her including you my friend as the guy my advice in situations like this given the number of red flags including hissy fits drama feminism lack of a masculine leader in her life growing up is essentially run run forest run you know you turn around in 180 degrees and you proceed to move in that direction without looking back i've always said for a long long time and this is another good example of a gentleman doing it is guys love to complicate their life and then justify why they complicate their life which is absolutely unnecessary and totally absurd it doesn't matter how hot she is it doesn't matter how great she is in the bedroom none of those things matter at all except for who she is and what her character is like and what her past looks like remember guys 
I've told you this many times, women are very concerned with a man's future, your ability to preside, to provide. In this case, this woman is not able to function without being in a relationship. She needs a man, even though she's a feminist and says she doesn't need no man, or a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. But you can see how well that works out because she loses her shit and it, you know, wants to self-delete when she is not in proximity to this guy, when this guy does not text him on a frequent enough basis to placate her, to keep her happy, so that she doesn't have any anxiety about him or what's going on in the relationship. And it's utterly absurd. Guys should never, ever get themselves in a situation where they're functioning in a long-term relationship with a chick like this. You can try. You can have a relationship with a woman like this. You can put a baby in her. You can even marry her. But your life will not be as pleasant, as fun, as complete, as peaceful as a man that avoids a woman like this and chooses a chick with better personality traits, the bright triad traits, right? This woman is off the chart, has more red flags than a Chinese communist parade, and she should not be making her problems your problems. You should not be trying to complicate your life unnecessarily and justify why you're doing it just because you've got a connection with her or she helps you a little bit with your business. Because there's chicks that don't have these red flags that will do all the positive things that she's talking about doing or has done without the detriment of getting a text message harassing you about why you didn't message her in the morning and say, oh, good morning, sweetheart. How are things? You know, happy Wednesday or whatever. You don't need to do that with a normal gal that's socially adjusted, that's calibrated. You don't need to deal with I'm going to self-delete if you don't come here in the next couple of hours and, you know, prove your love to me or any of those things. So, gentlemen, my advice remains the same in situations like that. The abundance of red flags is an indication that you have chosen the wrong woman. Choose wisely. You have the right to reject terrible women. You have the right to only invite good women with the bright triad traits into your life on a long-term basis. Look, spin plates, date them. See what she's about. If she's got more red flags than a Chinese communist parade, then don't engage. Keep her at arm's length, that's it. Don't invite her into your life. Don't introduce her to your family. Don't take her to work functions. You know, one of the things that he said was like, oh, you know, she shows off well to family and friends. Yeah. All women with BPD show off well to family and friends. A lady in the street, a freak in the sheets. That's typically the sound bites that you'll hear that are associated with them very, very closely. What do you want to do, my friend? Do you want a crazy life or do you want a peaceful life? My advice is choose peace, choose serenity, and choose a woman with great triad traits. You should not be dealing with threats of self-deletion. That is absurd and not something that you're going to fix. She's Let her go fix that shit. Let her go deal with a professional that may potentially help her fix that stuff. That's not your problem. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Have you ever dealt with a chick like this yourself? What's your experience been? Also pin in the top comment. Check out some useful links, including the School of Entrepreneurship. That's where I've got all my best stuff. 30 plus hours of very advanced and useful information on things like vetting long-term relationships, how to make serious money, investing, self-care, and so on. Check it out. The prices go up as time goes on and the membership increases. Have an awesome day. Peace. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up.